Hi, Steve again. Uh, this is a slightly more complex example of a KML map web page. I want to show you how you can link to a KML file uh, that's held on a server um, with a, a file kmlmaps.htm, which is on uh, the Blackboard. Uh, so first of all, let's just look at this in the browser. So here's the, here's the file. And you can see here on the map of the UK, I have all of these locations of detailed maps held in the soil archive that we have. And as I zoom in, you can see it's just showing those maps there. I can also click on the individual items and up comes a title. It's not very exciting in this case, it just tells you the scale of the map. But that's an info box to pop up. So let's have a look at how that's done. So first of all, um, download the file and place it in your, in your folder. Uh, so there it is, and I can bring up an editor of that. And here we are. So as before, we have the HTML with its head, the style settings, the loading the JavaScript Google um, Maps API file up, and then we're into the JavaScript for this. I create my map. Now this time I create a, a new layer and set up a layers array and um, a subarray for file name, a subarray for labels, and then I populate that. So for example, here I have the first element in my array, which is a type Google Maps KML layer, and it's listing uh, the location of a file, which is placed somewhere out there on the live internet. This doesn't work if the file is not on the live internet. So let's just pause there and consider where this file goes. Uh, there's no use putting this file on your PC in the PC lab because the Google uh, map server is looking for that file in the public web space. Now, did you know that Cranfield gives you a public web space to put files in? So let's use that. Um, this is the location um, of the tool that allows you to upload files to that. I think every member of staff and students gets something like 50 megabytes of public space. So perfectly enough to put a, a little file or so up there. Indeed, I might note this would be a very good place to put uh, examples of your work uh, if you're interested in interviews in the future. And you can point people at your personal web space. So if you go to that website, then you, you get the uploader. Here's the uploader. And if I just scroll down, I created a folder here uh, called SDI. And there in the SDI is a file I've created earlier called 25k.kml keyhole markup language. So that file is sitting there on the public website that I can actually pick up as long as I refer to that correctly. And the way you refer to that, if I just switch back now to the code, is, is like this. So it's on public.cranfield.ac.uk forward slash your username. And then if you did create, like I did there, a folder, you have the folder name slash and then the file at the end. So that's that's how you load up a file onto the public web server and refer to it as a KML layer. And then there are the layer names. So coming down here then there's a function that allows me to toggle um, toggle layers on and off. Um, there's uh, and if, if, if the layer is not found it brings up an uh, alert button. And I create again a center point for my map, some map options, instantiate my map there with those options, and into the map canvas uh, div tag. If I scroll to the bottom, uh, there it is. There's the map canvas, and um, uh, and then the load load event and so on. Down at the bottom of the page here, then I also have uh, some input checkbox here, input checkbox here, to turn on and off different layers. And uh, you'll see here that this actually calls a function. When you click it, toggle layer with this dot name. And the name here is KMZ file. So in other words, when you click this checkbox, it runs the function toggle layer with the name, which is KMZ file. So if I just scroll back up and look for the function toggle layer, you'll see there's, there's toggle layer being called, and there's the function. So this is the function at the top where the layer name is passed in, and it's expecting that layer name to exist in this 
uh, this, this names array here and if it's if it's found and if it's off it turns it on and if it's on it turns it off like that so just to recap here uh, you have a standard page uh, with uh, the div tag created the Google map loaded in starting to use other types of Google um, directives here like the layers the layers uh, and those are, are with some toggling code here and also some clever options down here that look at the, the zoom level as well you, you may note that on the on the uh, page I also write out the zoom level as a string and the, and the center point of the map so as I zoom in and out this updates so I just come back to the map again and show that so you see up here I have a zoom level 8 and a center point and as I move the, the mouse around there you can see that changing I zoom out level 7 level 6 and so on